going on guys and gals it is negative zero welcome to a Photoshop business card tutorial uh, you may have noticed the other day I had a uh, tutorial up on my channel with a uh, business card for Steve from Minecraft and uh, just a silly little project but I took it down because it had a couple problems the main problem was I really didn't like it and I just did it freehand just to get back into the groove of recording after being away for a week and it just didn't turn out the way I envisioned so I decided to pull it uh, two more factors contributed to this it was the biggest factor besides this was that I accidentally uh, displayed some sensitive information to, regarding some of my design clients which I covered up with annotations but I realized annotations would not work on mobile devices and people would be able to see Plus, YouTube refused to let me monetize it, so I just pulled it. I decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do something better, cooler, much more complex in designing. And this is it, you're looking at it right now. This is Steve D. Builder's business card. He's a redstone engineer and minerals expert and lead architect for whatever, I guess the crafty blocks design firm or something. Steve D. Builder, 147 Craft Street, Blocksville, 1337 5, or Leets, get it? Cell phone is 888-8675309. Tommy Two-Tone, anyone? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create this from scratch. I've got this one here as a reference we can always go back to, because I spent a little bit of time getting it just right. So let's go ahead and create a new document, File New. It is going to be CMYK color, 300 pixels an inch for printers. You can go 600 if you really want. Width is going to be, we're going to go to inches. It is going to be 3.5 by 2 in height. If you want a vertical business card, just reverse these numbers. Okay, this is your business card. This is what you would have in your hand. Let's see if we can do the actual size. Do we have that option here? Where's the hand tool? I can't remember where the hand tool is anymore. H. There we go. Print size. This would be the size of the business card. That's about right. But the problem is, if we were to make the card and print it in this form, it wouldn't. The printer would cut it off from the template that it printed it onto, and it would have these white edges around it. We solved that with what's called a trim area and the trim area is 0.25 a quarter of an inch on either side if you're one of my friends from across the pond you use centimeters keep in mind that one inch is 2.5 centimeters so a quarter of 2.5 is let's see calc let's see 2.5 divided by 0.25 is 0.10 centimeters so there you go so first we're going to do is we're going to pick a color any color I'm going to go with black press alt backspace or go to edit fill does the same thing we're going to fill this up we're going to uh, double click this to uh, unlock the layer we're going to create a new layer by either clicking down here but since I can't see anything because of the record button I'm going to hit control shift N don't uh, we'll give it a name we're going to call it trim now, we're going to resize it, because so you can either go to Image, Canvas Size, or Control-Alt-C. Make sure you're in the middle. We're going to resize it to 3.75 by 2.25. Now we have our trim area. We are going to hold in Control and click on the main layer. Click on, and make sure the trim layer is highlighted. <coughs> Excuse me. Press Control Shift I. That's going to select the opposite of what we had selected, and then fill this with whatever color you choose. I use black. With what, what do I use? It's for 72% with 72% opacity. Lock it, and then press Control A to select this whole thing, and refill it with white and now you have your stock template I'll throw a stock template in the description down below 
so that you can see and download this. You'll also be able to download the finished product ready to print and the Photoshop PSD. And now let's get on to the good stuff. We're going to go to, not that, we are going to go to desktop. I've got some pre-downloaded images here. This one I made. We're going to drag it in. No, we're going to hit escape. We're going to drag it up here so that it create into this black bar to create a new thing. Control A, select it all. Control X, cut it out. Control F4 to close it. No. Press Control V. Now, that's about where we want it. We, and we're going to lower this down to the trim area. Anything inside this black area here, you will not actually have on your business card. What these do, to elaborate on it, it prints out this entire area. And then it's going to cut this off. And that way the colors go straight to the edge and there's no mess ups on the corners to make your business card look like crap if you have any colors around it. If you have white business cards, it's not that big of a deal. But we're going to do that and just for continuity's sake, I'm going to select all these pixels. Nope. We need to make that rectangular. You can also do that by holding in shift and pressing the buttons. See it says M. If I hold in shift, I can cycle through them. I want to select this pixel set up here. Copy paste, move it to the top, paste it again, move it to the top, hold in shift, and cl and click here, hold in shift, click the bottom layer, that selects them all, press control E, they're merged, we're going to rename them to BG Dirt, there. Now if we uh, cut off, took off the trim we can see that we have this, don't worry about this, it's going to get cut off anyway, don't worry about it. And now we're going to go to our magic wand tool, set it really high like 62 and click. It's going to select all our green. Right click, layer via copy. I'm going to rename this to grass overlay. Now I went through and got everything pixel perfect so I'm going to show you in the BG, I'm going to show you what I've got set up here. For stroke, we've got one pixel, this color 275026, outside normal 100% opacity, and these are the drop shadow settings, 54% opacity, 66 light angle, 7 distance, 7 spread, and a leave everything out here default, and I'm going to right click on this, we're going to copy layer style, go back to this document, right click, paste it, and now that saved us some effort. We're going to hold in shift and select both of these two. Press control G is going to create a group. We're going to call it BG. Okay, good. I'm leaving this layer for because I have this called layer guides. It is a extension. You really should get it because it'll take whatever layer and give you, you can choose which layer guides you want without having to manually drag them and position them. So I can grab the center super easy without having to go through here and fidget with it. And I recommend it. I also have a few extensions. I'll show you here. Window, extensions. I got all these. This come with Photoshop. And they're really handy. So now we're going to take and create our abstract design right here which all you have to do if you look at it it's super simple it just looks complex you just have to grab your polygonal lasso tool make a nice angle hold in shift after on the bottom make it perfectly flat go up to that angle again hold in shift make sure your angle is good hold in shift click it, hold in shift, and then connect it. And now, control shift in creates a new layer, fill it with black, we're going to put BG at the bottom. And then all you have to do is after that you press control D to deselect it, 
Control T, you can manipulate it. Press, you can either drag this down to a new layer. I can't because I can't see because of the recording thing down here. You won't be able to see. So I'm going to press Control J. That's going to duplicate the layer. I can move it. And then I can resize it to where I want it. Hold Control and click on the picture. It'll select it. I'm going to pick a slightly lighter shade. Alt Backspace, color it in. I'm not going to go through all this. Just do that over and over. Get some random shapes going on. I've already went through and done it. Spent some time getting it the way I like it. So we're going to grab that. Duplicate the layer. Over to Untitled 1. Should have named it. There we have that. Uh, once you have them all colored, let's say that it's black and white. You press Control U or go to Images, Adjustments, Hue, Saturation, click Colorize, play with your wheel and saturation, get it where you want it. I got it where I want it, which is right here. So we have our abstract. I'm going to throw this right here. Hey, that looks pretty cool, but I want it like that. Okay, so we have that ready. I'm going to go ahead and click Control S, save it. I'm going to call it Steve. MC business card tutorial and I'll make sure to post this as a download too. Excuse the squeaky chair. Now, what's next? Let's go ahead and do Steve's text. So, let's see, what do we have? 8 point. So we go over here. Text tool, click. Make sure we have but let's go ahead and close that out. Cancel that. White. Steve. D. Builder. Like that. What's that say over here? 147 Craft Street. 147 Craft Street. What else? Bloxville 13. Let's see. Bloxville. Lee, leet, leets. Oopsie, wrong thing. And then cell is the Tommy Two Tom thing. So cell eight 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 six seven five three zero oh, nine. Now we're going to position it. First, we're going to get rid of this. There we go. We want to position it about right here, some on this area, and let's look at the layer style. We have a two pixel black stroke full opacity, a drop shadow of 75%, light angle 170, distance of 6, and everything else is 0. We're going to copy that layer style, we'll paste it in, which if you're following along at home, you would just type it. I showed you everything that should be easy to do. So we have his info. Next up, we're going to take care of these. These are stupid simple to make. Create a new layer. I'm going to call it Top Slide because it looks like it went droop, and slid in like a disc. Droop, but it didn't. And if you'll notice, they're all on a perfect angle. Like that, they the ends lined up in a nice smooth way. There's no jaggedness. So we're going to create one about this size. Fill it in with whatever color we like. I'll use black. Now, grab a ruler. Press Control R if you don't have this bar up here to bring it. Grab it. Bring it over till it snaps. By default, it should. Grab one here. Bring it down to the middle till it snaps. One to the top, one to the bottom. Now, click here, get your elliptical marquee. Click, hold in shift so that you get a perfect circle. Hold in alt so that it will come out from the center. And just drag it out until it snaps off. Snaps. There we go. Fill it. Alt backspace. 
Now we just go ahead and drag these away. I'm gonna leave this one. Eh, let's leave them. Let's leave them all. There we go. We have that. The layer style for this particular piece is. Here's the stroke. Here's the color. That's all there is to it. Make sure your fill is at 0%. The difference between fill and opacity is opacity affects the entire layer. That actually looks pretty interesting. While fill affects just the layer color. No matter what, what's on the layer that's not a layer style, fill will take care of it. Fill's good man. So let's go ahead and copy this layer style. Let's go back here. We're going to paste it in. Now grab your tool again. Hold in Shift and Alt. Make it make a circle about this big. Go ahead and come back here. Take a look at the circles stuff. So this is your bevel and boss info. Feel free to pause the video. This is your color overlay. Okay. And of course, fill is zero. So we're going to copy this layer style. Let me. I don't like the size of that. Gonna, there we go, about that size. You gotta make a new layer. I'm gonna call it top circle. Alt backspace to fill it. Right click, paste layer style. There we go. Looks good. Top circle, top slide. Yep, that's correct. It, gets, it looks a little bit darker here because we have something set up here. I'll show you in a minute. So next, we need to go to our Explorer. I'm going to drag our redstone up here. Control A, Control X, Control F4, Control or just N to get rid of it. Control V, it's too big. Control T, click here, hold in Shift and Alt, and we'll it'll minimize it in. Line it up to the center, make it a decent size, and voila, we have that. Okay, I showed you something wrong. We need to copy this layer style for the circle paste it in the circle that was what was wrong now it looks a lot better I was wondering what was going on here so we have that next up we are going to hold it we're going to take our text tool we're going to see how big this is six point so we're going to click here we're going to type in redstone press enter e n g n e e r I'm going to go back to the beginning of engineer and space it a bit so that it takes up the entire area. Need to get rid of one space. There we go. There we have that. We're going to rename this to redstone. Put it on top of the top circle, it doesn't really matter. Select all four of these layers, control G, call it top slide. And then we have the group. The group itself has its own layer style. We're going to have a look at that. Let's drop shadow. Here's the numbers. Okay. We're going to copy this layer style. Paste it here. And we get this. Now we're going to duplicate top slide by pressing Control J. Drag it down a bit. Drag it off to the left until it lines up evenly with that. We'll adjust our spacing in a minute. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it now. Come on now. Let's get rid of you. About right here. Just like that. Minerals expert. Minerals expert. Move it over. Make 
make sure it's lined up in the middle. Whoopsie. I broke it. And always keep them in cascading order according to how they should be. Mid slide. Save. Make sure that we are in the middle. Everything's lined up. You can eyeball it if you want. Okay, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to call it bottom slide. Move it to the bottom. Move tool. Drag it down. We'll, let's see, we'll put it right here. We'll bring this up. And we'll bring this up. Bottom slide. Let's see, it's going to go out a little bit more. So that goes there. Oopsie. Drag this out until they're lined up evenly. Drag this one out until they're lined up evenly. Looks good. To adjust the length, we're going to click on the slide, press Control T, just drag it out. Drag it past the line. There we go. Do the same thing for the middle one. Grab the slide, drag it off. There we go. So, mineral expert, redstone engineer, we need to take and grab our pickaxe, drag it in. Going to select all this, get rid of it. Need to make get rid of that. Now control A, control X, control N, or control F4, control T, flip it horizontally, stretch it down. We're on the wrong one. Make it the size of the redstone. Like that. We are going to get rid of the redstone. And instead we have a pick. Now let's move this back here. Let's adjust the text here. Redstone engineer should be much spread out so it takes up the whole space and finally we have lead architect so lead architect I always spell it architect never can get that right like that make sure with a guide they all line up evenly lead architect and redstone look like they line up they do so minerals should go forward. Let's get rid of. Let's take that. There we go. They're all lined up. And we're almost done. Very similar. Now we have to change this. So we go here. We grab our wood block texture. Control A, Control X, Control F4, no. On the bottom one, put that. Get rid of that. Control V, Control T, Shift Alt. Zoom in. You can use Alt and your mouse wheel to zoom. We will make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Just like that. So we have Steve D. Builder, 147 Craft Street, City Area Code, Cell Phone Number, Redstone Engineer, Minerals Expert, Lead Architect, the only thing left to do, and it's the most fun part, we're going to throw this in the middle, no we're not, we're going to put it above everything else, there we go, the last thing to do, is the creeper hat the creeper head the logo of sorts let's get rid of all these you can also go to view clear guides so let's see let's see how it is so we go over here 
we op we take our image. Control A, Control X. You know the drill. Paste it in. I like this image. It was the perfect size already. So now we grab our quick selection tool. Select that. Hold Shift. Select that. Hold Shift. Select this. Now we're going to drag this layer down and delete it. And that leaves us a selection. We are going to create a new layer. We're going to call it Creep Face. And we're going to fill it with black. Now the creeper face is a group. Let me get rid of that. And if you're wondering about this weird shape, is just the uh, is just this with all the different layers. Creeper face is a group with a bunch of layer styles. So we have this layers now the main one I'm going to show you it's just a gradient overlay radial 90 scale 135 these are the colors oh no we ain't having that color 369 Delta 4 369 Delta 47 and 51 Bravo 848 and we are going to copy that layer style. We can close this now. We can paste this layer style. Control T, distort, go under distort, click perspective, hold shift, do something like, no, do something like this. There we go. Move it somewhere so we can work with it. Now here's the fun part. Create a new layer. You can duplicate it with Control J. Get rid of the layer style, clear layer style. Put it underneath the creeper face. And we're going to hold in Alt. And we're going to press left, right repeatedly. And it's going to extrude it out. Like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I did it 40 times. I remember this. For some reason, that's what we got. Click the top one, click the bottom one, control E, creeper face 3D. It has its own layer style. Here it is. Gradient overlay, linear 142 angle, scale 100, 100%. Here's your colors. Two nine or eight two three foxtrot and two six five zero two seven. We are once again going to copy this layer style, make my life easier. Paste this layer style, my life is so much easier. And we have that. Now select these, group them. You know how to do this by now. We're gonna call it creep face. We're gonna hide it, duplicate it, press control E to merge it so that we can give it a stroke. What kind of stroke does it have? Yep, let's see. Is this the one with the stroke? One of these has a stroke. I'm not quite sure which one it is. stroke well somewhere on the line it's got a stroke two pixels thick a dark greenish color like that there we go or maybe it doesn't no it doesn't it just looks like it oh yeah I, I did it but I got rid of it sorry okay so we have the creeper face now we need to make it smaller Control T, grab it, and Alt Shift. Put it somewhere in the middle. Now, this is where this comes in handy. That layer thing. Otherwise, you can just drag it down. It'll snap right there. So now, grab your circle. 
make one about that big. We're going to fill it with white. Put it underneath, oop, new layer, sorry. Underneath the creeper, fill it white. Come over here, we're using this color. It's a nice pastel blue, zero Charlie Niner Delta Delta Four. We are going to make another layer. We're going to go ahead and call it Logo Outline. We're going to call this Logo BG. Put it above Logo Outline. Select another circle about that big and paste Logo Outline. Control click Logo BG and then hit delete while you have Logo Outline selected and it'll get rid of that blue inside there. These also have layer styles. Logo background has stroke, inner shadow, and that's it. I'm going to copy it. It also has a fill of 55%. Got that. Logo outline has a stroke. That's it. Copy layer style. Paste layer style. There we go. Make sure logo outline is above logo background. And you can select all these, group them, call it logo. Move it down somewhere in here. Let's see what how big is it? About this size. And there you go. Your very own save it, in case we crash. Your very own Minecraft business card for Steve D. Builder. You could modify this and you know if you're a server owner or something, feel free to use it however you like. One more thing, I almost forgot. The creeper face is technically centered because it's offset at an angle. This it is technically centered in here, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to hold, press V to get my move tool and move it left a few times until it looks more centered. And it's sort of an optical illusion. So when you save it, now to save it as a printable, you need to undo your trim. It will get printed the printer will automatically cut off the amount of trim it doesn't need this color it could actually ruin your print file save as and save it as a JPEG save with maximum baseline standard and no mat bam there is the business card in CMYK color, so it's going to look just like this when you print it. Pretty good resolution. That's and that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, share it with your friends, leave a comment if you have any more suggestions. I'm open to doing more business cards like this. Uh, maybe an Enderman, maybe a Creeper, blowing up your stuff for a living or something silly like that. But that's it for today's episode. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it, a dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment giving me more subscriptions, uh, more ideas. And if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button. It's free. It takes you five seconds, and it means the world to me. And that's it for me. This is Zero signing off. I'll see you later.